Arch Oblers lights out everybody. It is later than you think. This is Arch Obler bringing you another in our series of stories of the unusual. And once again, we caution you, these lights out stories are definitely not for the timid soul. So we tell you calmly and very sincerely, if you frighten easily, turn off your radio now. Cut. Why? Don't go. I don't want to be alone. Oh, what know. do you mean, alone? Your husband's in the next room, ain't he? Oh, that guy. What does he know about having fun? Work, work, work. It makes me sick where I've never been sick before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Get stick around. Let's have some more fun. Oh, you yeah. can't stop me. Oh, please. Have you. the most marvelous yeah. song I've ever heard. Linda, my heavens sake, Linda. Well, speak of the devil. Hiya, Johnny boy. Come on in. The water's fine. <laughs> Only it ain't water, huh? It ain't water. Linda, no, for heaven's sake, I'm trying to work. Oh, go away. Go away. You're spoiling my party. Throw him out of here, Kenny. <laughs> He's only my husband. Oh, oh, Linda, take it get in. out of here, you. Oh, take that other woman with you. Go on. Come on, Come on, Kenny. No, no, wait. Don't listen to him. It's my house. It's my house. You. You kick them out. My friends. You kick them out. Linda, haven't you any consideration at all? I begged you, pleaded with you to try to keep these people out of the house while I'm getting some work done. And you persist in doing just the opposite. You kick them out. My friends. Yes, yes, I kick them out and I'll do it again every time I find them here. They're no good. You've given me your word time and time again to give them up. I'll call them back. I'll call them all back. You can't tell me what to do. Not me. They're my friends, mine. I'd give a dozen of you for one of them. All right, Linda. If that's the way you feel, I guess you and I have finally come to the end of the road. You haven't got a grain of loyalty in you. All I ask is a little peace and quiet in my own home, and I can't even have that. Ah, go away, go away. Night after night, you and those people, yowling and screaming like a pack of alley cats. And you the worst of all. I'm through, Linda. I'm through with you for good. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, no, you're not. Keep away from me. Keep away. Oh, Linda. (laughs) See? You're not through with me at all. You'll never be through with me. Never. Oh, Linda. Linda. No. No, let me go. Let me go. I don't want you, you fool. You're not through with me. I'm through with you. No, no, Linda. I'm tired of you. Do you hear me? I'm tired of you. I'm going to get so far away from that smug face of yours that I couldn't see it with a telescope. Linda, my wife. Your wife. Why do you think I married you? I thought you loved me. I married you because I was sick of working in a two-bit barber shop. Because I was sick of living in a hall bedroom wearing bargain sale dresses. I wanted dough, plenty of it, all I could get. And you were the best chance to get it that came my way. No, no, Linda, you did love me. You must have loved I me. I loved you about as much as that canary up there loves its cage. I told myself I'd stay with you a year. Divorce you, stick you for plenty of alimony, and then get out. But we've been married five years. Yeah, five years. Because you fooled me. That's why. I fooled you? Yes. Huh. You started to make a lot of money. More money than I ever thought you could make. <laughs> 
So you're giving me the air, huh? No, no, Linda, I love you. I'll always love you. I didn't mean what I said. Well, I did. Oh, Linda, don't leave me. You're no good. I know you're no good, but heaven help me, I love you. I'll never love anybody else. Get out of my way. No, no, I, I won't let you go. You've got to stay. Keep your hands off me. You're no good. You've cost me my self-respect. But you'll stay with me, you'll stay with me, or I'll cut you off without a cent. <laughs> you won't get a dime from me, not a dime. <laughs> Stop that. Stop laughing. Oh, you Sam. <laughs> you fat-headed Sam. <laughs> Stop that. So you're going to cut me off without a cent, are you? Oh, you fool. I've got everything that belongs to you now. You hear me? Everything. What are you talking about? What are you saying? This house. It's in my name, isn't it? The car. It's in my name, isn't it? I know, but... Oh, no, you... You wouldn't. Oh, wouldn't I? Well, listen to this, my darling husband. I cleaned out the bank account yesterday. No. Every cent of it. I won't be in the street. You will. Now, this is my house. Get your things and get out of here. Uh... I'll kill you. No, stop I'll it. kill you. you come near me. Let me go. Let me go. Ow! Ah! Oh. You touch me again, I'll tear your eyes out. You, you cat. Get out of my way. That's what you are, a cat. A big, white, heartless cat. You think like one. You screech like one. You claw like one. <laughs> you even look like one. A cat. That's what you are, a great white I didn't marry a woman. I married a cat. Keep it up. Keep it up. You're doing swell. <laughs> laugh at me. Go on, laugh at me. But you're a cat. A sneaking, yowling cat. Now, that's enough of that. You stop saying it. A cat. A cat. You hear me? A cat. Stop staring at me like that. Stop staring at me. John, what's happening to me? John, my head, I can hardly see. John, help me. John. Linda. What are you staring at? What are you staring at? What are you... Meow! Linda. Linda. Oh. John, you've got to control yourself. Everything will be all right. Oh, Doctor, what have I done? What have I done? John, please, pull yourself together. You're not entirely to blame for what happened. What did I do? I did it. I'm to blame. Stop talking like that. It's preposterous to say you're to blame. She was hysterical, John, and the suggestion that she was a cat caught her in an unguarded moment and resulted in a temporary neurosis. Oh, Doctor, she's got to get well. She's got to. Of course, she'll be all right. A little rest, quiet, and in a few days, it'll all be forgotten. Is she... Is she sleeping? Yes. I gave her a sedative. She, she's resting very comfortably. Can I go in and see her? But I tell you, she's sleeping, John. I know, but... Oh, I've got to see her. I've got to look at her. I've got to make sure she's all right. Don't you see? I've got to make sure. Now, John, please. You've had a hard time of it. You'd better get to bed and get some rest. Oh, no, Doctor. Listen to me. I, I've got to see her again. I, I've got to make sure that she's all right. I can't rest until I know. Well, I tell you. Oh, very well. Just for a moment. Yes. Very quiet. Yes. There. You see? She's resting very nicely. <gasps> Doctor. Look. What? Her hands. Look at her hands. They're. They're claws. And her teeth. Her teeth. Linda. No, 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 John. You're waking her. Linda! Uh, 
listen to her. Steady, John. I can't stand it. I tell you, I can't stand it. She's Linda. She's my wife, my beautiful wife. Linda. Linda. Sorry, John. It's, it's all right. I guess I'm going a little crazy myself. What's happening to her? What is it? I don't know, John. I don't know. Listen to her. You've got to do something, Doctor. You've got to. You're my friend. You've got to help me. What? In the name of all that's rational, what? To think there must be something you could do with drugs. Something, anything. Oh, John, I, I don't know what to say. I, I I can't think. I'll call in someone else. That's it. I'll inform the authorities. They'll take care of everything. No, no, wait. What, what's the matter? What is it? You're going to inform the authorities? Yes. Yes, of course, John. Don't you see it's the simplest way out? Way out? Of course, of course. For you and for me. What do you mean? John... This horrible thing that's happened to Linda, it it goes beyond just you and me. It goes beyond the normal into the supernatural. Everyone should know about it. The world should know about it. Science. You mean you're going to let everybody know what's happened to Linda? Of course I am. But you can't do that. She's my wife. Do you hear me? My wife. No, no, no. Now, don't get excited again, John. Listen sensibly. We owe it to science. Science? Who cares about science? She's Linda. She's my wife, and I cursed her to God and turned her into a yowling beast. <laughs> it's my shame, mine. And you're not going to tell a living soul about it. No one, you hear me? No one. It's my duty, John. I must inform the authorities. No, no. Keep away from that phone. Keep away, I say. I'm sorry, John. Oh. John. My friend. Try to sleep, darling. Try to sleep. Yes, yes, I I know, I know, darling. But but it's almost morning. You must rest. (gasps) Sleep, Linda. Sleep, my beloved. All right, darling. I've got to be strong. I've got to help you. And I did help you. He was going to tell them about you. Everyone. They'd have taken you away from me. Locked you up. Pointed at you. Laughed at you. But I stopped him, Linda. I stopped him for you. He called me friend. But you're my wife, my beloved, and I love you. I've pleased you, haven't I, my darling? I never could please you before, could I? And now I've pleased you. I killed him, Linda. I killed my friend to save you. And if anybody comes, I'll say he never came here. And no one will know, darling. No one but you and I. What is it, darling? What's the matter? Why are you getting up? What is it? Why go to the window? What do you want? If I could only understand you. If I could only know what you're trying to say to me. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Linda. Linda, stop. I'm begging to stop. Linda, beloved, stop. 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 Yeah. 
Yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. Good morning, Mr. Taylor. Oh, it's you. I found this note saying you wanted to talk to me. Gee, I hope you're not going to quit taking milk from me, Mr. Taylor. I know I've been kind of late with deliveries the last couple of days, but you see, it's my... Oh, heart no, to... I'm not going to stop taking milk. That's what I want to see you about. I want milk, more milk, cream, everything. Oh, sure, sure. How much do you want? Oh, four bottles of milk. No, 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 six. Six? Yes, and cream. Six bottles of cream. Is, is something wrong, Mr. Taylor? Wrong? Why do you think something's wrong? Well, I only meant... You meant what? Speak up. You meant what? Oh, now, don't get sore, Mr. Taylor. I just meant, well, you don't look so good, and, <laughs> well, you know how it is. Sometimes a fellow has a couple too many, and he starts ordering all the milk in the world. <laughs> you fool. I'm not drunk. You want to sell me that milk, or do I have to get another milkman? No, no, no. I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Well, hurry. Six quarts. Six cream. Only him and his old lady. The guy's nuts. Drink the milk, my beloved. Please. But you haven't eaten anything. You're hungry. You must be hungry. Oh, my darling, what do you want? I'll get you anything, anything. Just eat. No. Uh, no, I can't let you out of the room. I can't. Someone might come to the door. They'd see through the window. Oh, be patient, Linda, darling. I'll think of something. I... Oh, drink the milk for your own good, Linda. Please. No, 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 dearest. Don't do that. All right. All right, dear. All right. I'll let you into the dining room. But you've got to stay away from the windows. Someone should see you. Here, let me carry you. <coughs> All right, darling. All right. I, I won't. I won't. Go yourself. Go yourself. You see, my darling, your pretty living room. Everything in it just the way you fixed it. Everything. Oh, Linda, Linda, this horrible thing that's happened to us. I tell myself it isn't real. I'll wake up soon and everything will be the way it used to be. You and I. Linda, where are you? Oh, Linda, don't, 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 no, Linda, Linda, don't touch my phone, Linda. Linda, could you do it? Oh, could you do it? Oh, good morning, Mr. Taylor. Early again this morning, ain't you? Morning. Uh, ever since you sent your wife to the country, my first customer every morning for the last three days you've been. Like I was saying to my wife this morning, I said... Yes, yes, Mr. Heinrich, some other time. I'm in a hurry. My order, please. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you ain't give me no order yet. How about a nice steak, what you can broil? No, no, uh, nothing like that. But to broil a steak? Ach, I tell you, that's nothing. When my wife, she goes to the country, that's what I always make for myself. Uh, you lay the steak in the pan, and then you light the steak. I'm in a hurry, I tell you. Sure, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. You don't have to get so high blood pressure, Mr. Taylor. If you will tell me what you want, by God, yeah, I'll give it to you. Well, uh, I... I don't know exactly. A, oh, a couple of pounds of liver. Yes, that's it. Fresh liver. What? Again? You heard me. Sure, sure, I heard you, but uh, by golly, for three days, ever since your wife, she went away, you, you, you eat nothing but liver. Are you going to fill my order? Yeah, sure, sure, I will fill your order. There. Did you ever see such nice, fresh liver, huh? So, two pounds? Jawohl. There we are. By golly, it could be you was raising a cat or something. 
Why do you say that? Well, every day you buy liver. <laughs> this morning I catched a couple of mouses in a trap. Maybe you like to take them along for the cat, too, huh? Don't say that! Don't say that! Mr. Taylor, the liver, you forgot. Hmm. By golly, that man is forrick. Now, what did I say that was wrong? Cats like to eat mouses. Oh, my Linda. My dear. Dearest Linda, close to me, close to me. Oh, my darling, my darling, it's better this way. You can't leave me now. I'll have you with me always. I'll keep you here, just you and I. I won't answer it. They'll go away. All right, all right. I'll, I'll answer it. No, no. Stay here, my beloved. They mustn't see you. Be very quiet. Be very quiet. Yes, yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. Well, what is it? What is it? Are you the owner of this building? Yes, what do you want? Kerrigan is the name. I'm your neighbor. I've got that place across the alley from you. Neighbor? Yeah, Kerrigan is my name. I'm with the department. The department? Yes. I'm desk sergeant at the 3rd District Station. Policeman? Yes. I'm off duty today, so I thought I'd drop over and speak to you. Uh, do you mind if I step in for a moment? Step in? Oh, no, no, not at all. Not at all. Uh, thank you. Well, you got a nice place here. Yes, yes, nice. Very nice. You know, the same contractors made this place as made mine. You didn't know that, I'll bet. No, I, I didn't. Yes. Irishman by the name of Gil Hooley. You put up all these bungalows along here on nothing but Blarney and the shoestring. Jumped out a ten-story window, they tell me, the day after the stock market crash. <laughs> Lucky for him. If he was alive now, some of the people around here... The bad place is only would murder him. What was the trouble they'll have him? Trouble? Say, now, speaking of trouble, reminds me why I come over. If you don't mind, I'll tell you. Yes? No, no, it ain't me that's complaining, Mr. Taylor. I'm the kind of man that can sleep in a boiler factory. But it's me, Katie. Ah, there's a light sleeper for you. I always say that if a star in heaven twinkles too much, the noise wakes up me, Katie. What? What is the trouble? Well, you know how the women are. Always finding something to make a fuss about. Hey, uh, I'm not disturbing her, am I? Her? Yeah. You know, your missus. She's not sleeping in the bedroom, there, is she? No, no, of course not. There's no one in there. I thought maybe seeing the door is closed. Oh, no, I tell you, there's no one in there. My, my wife, she's out of town. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. I, I always like to talk things over man to man without the women around. The women are all right, I says, but they don't know how to straighten our little troubles with neighbors without calling names and pulling hair. <laughs> oh, what is it? What's wrong? What do you want to tell me? Well, to put it plain, it's the cat. Cat? Yeah, the cat. You just got it, didn't you? You... You heard a cat? Yeah. It started a few nights ago. No, it ain't just a mean one, like I says, but, but Miss Katie, well, you see our bedroom window faces right on the alley. And by golly, she hears every meow that animal makes. You, you're wrong. Eh? I have no cat. But, but Miss Katie heard. I heard it too, for that matter. I have no cat. But I'm telling you, it's come right from this house. I tell you, I have no cat. Isn't that sufficient? Well, now, seeing as you put it so plain, I'll be speaking up plain myself. I'm telling you, I heard a cat yowling last night, and the night before, and the night before that. And as sure as my name's Thomas Kerrigan, they come right from this house. Now, what do you say to that? Get out. Now, wait a second, my book. Oh, wait a second. Don't get on your high horse. Get out. Well, now, see. I'm not saying you're lying. 
I'm just thinking maybe the animal's caught in your cellar without you knowing it. Now, if you let me go down... I there, tell you, there's no cat here. Get out. Get out of here. Oh, it's like that, is it? You heard me. Get out of my house. Well, you sure are making a lot of noise about nothing, young fella. But it's your house. And if that's the kind of neighbor you want to be, I guess... What? What are you standing there for? Get out! Get out! Now, just a minute. Take it easy. No cat, eh? Well, what was that I just... Uh... Nothing at all! You've got no right Mister, to... Mister, you may not be a liar, but you sure are something close to it. If that ain't a cat in that bedroom there, I ain't never heard one. Get out! Get out of here! Oh, no, I won't. Listen to that cat. If that ain't creating a public nuisance, I'd like to know what it is. It's none of your business. This is my house. Get out of here. Now, stop pulling at me, me bucko. I may be off duty, but I'm still an officer of the law. And I'm telling you, that cat, you got an error violating the city ordinance. Now, if you don't make it shut up, disturbing me, Katie, I will. Uh, stay away from that door. Stay away from that door. Hey. Listen to it. That ain't no cat you got in there. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, I lied. It is a cat. Just a cat. But I'll make it be quiet, but go away. Go away. Wait a minute. Take it easy. If it's just a cat, what are you getting so excited? No, no, I'm not. I'm not. Look at you. Your eyes are blazing. What's going on here? I think I'll have a look. No, no. Stay away. Oh, no. No. Get away. Take it away. I told you. I told you to go, big one. If I only had me gone. You'll never use it. Never. Keep away from it. Help! 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 I asked you to go, didn't I? I asked you to. Didn't I, Linda? You heard me. You heard me asking. Linda. Linda, what's the matter? What are you going to do? Linda, keep away from him. What are you going to do? No, no, Linda. Get away from him. Linda, Linda. Stop. 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 My eyes. My eyes. My eyes. in my eyes. I'm, I'm blind. Oh, God, have pity on me. Help me to find it. It must be here. Uh, I dropped it somewhere. Uh, you're back now. Breaking against me. Oh, God, let me find that gun. I dropped it here somewhere. everything from me. My eyes, my life. Now I'll take... <laughs> Linda! I heard, my beloved, I heard you. I'm coming with you. Wait for me, Linda. My beloved, wait. It is later than 